Hello folks, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry it's been so long from we've had a video but there's been bits and pieces going on but how and ever we're uh, back here now and I wanted to just talk a wee bit about motorhome security where I've bought some Malenko products. Uh, so basically uh, the Malenko door locks. So the first one I want to talk about is basically the inside outside door lock Malenko. This one here. Um, this one here, uh, I must say that I bought all these locks myself, no way sponsored. So um, this lock here basically is for the habitation door. So I have fitted it already. Uh, it was quite tricky because of the setup in the van here. I'll show you here just quickly. Um, so because we have this backsplash here, in here it left the, the van side side wall of the van very thick. So what I had to do, I had to make a wee spacer, a wee plastic spacer there if you can see it. So basically you can open it, that's it locked. So you can open and close this from the inside. So I'll just show you what it looks like outside. So basically that's it. So when you close your door, uh, this goes across like that and then you lock it. So that should be a good job. Um, just another wee thing I have had fitted here, just uh, the these is not Malenko. These are fitted by another company's uh, deadlocks here. So basically, um, like a mortise lock near you in your front door. So I'll show you the way that work. So, so basically as you see that we keeper comes down and hooks into this keeper here on the side of the door frame. So quite a secure bit of kit that. So not a good idea. Um, so, so the next lock I want to talk about is now I wanted to get one for the two garage doors. Um, <coughs> I originally had bought ones to call them a frame lock which is these ones here. Um, thought they were a good idea because you don't actually have to drill holes in the side of your van. Um, these just fit in on the door frame. So basically you fit this to the door frame with your two screw through your frame there through them through screw holes and this sits on the side of your van and then when you open it this slides back and forth but Two problems I had with them, this part of it here was too thick, there wasn't enough turns in the door so it was leaving the door very tight and the rubber was rubbing off it so I was afraid of that getting damaged and also this didn't seem to be very secure, there was a wee bit of play in them so uh, I opted then for what they call the Malenko multi-fit lock and these seem to be a, a better lock. So that's them there. So these can be fitted various ways. Basically you can fit them same as this as the frame type, but I'm not going to do this. You can frame fit them, you can surface mount them, or you can wall mount them. So I'll show you here. So there's the different options there on the box. So unfortunately I have decided to go down the road of drilling the side of the van and I'll show you what I've done. I've one fitted so I have another one still to fit here so basically you use this wee, uh, uh, wee uh, rubber gasket. Uh, I'm using this as a drilling 
pamphlet. I'll tape it on the side of the van. Drill your holes, then through that van, and then this uh, the screws goes into these holes here, and uh, this swings round. I'll get the keys here just to show you. Okay. So when you open it, that lock pops out, and that lets that uh, swing round. So I'll go out now, and we'll uh, we'll shall fit this here, and uh, we'll show you how we we fit it the other one. So we shall go out here and see how this shall go. And my friends is going to take over on the camera here, Kathleen. Basically. <coughs> okay folks, we're outside here, so um, again, these locks don't seem to want to fit a lot motorhomes that terribly well, so this is meant to go on like that, but as you can see, it, it, this, between these two trims is too narrow. So what, what, what I've opted to do is put it on like that, which will work. Probably not just 100% ideal because then you have access to the top and the nuts, but I sealed them off with a bit of silicone. I suppose, as the saying goes, a lock will only keep an honest man back, so some locks better than no lock. That's the way I'm looking at it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start and put this on here. So. I've sort of a fair idea I want where I want this because I've done the other side already. So I'll just put a bit of tape on it just to hold it in place. Probably think we fell off the planet. Now folks, this is a wee bit nerve wracking. Um, Top hole and bottom hole? Drilling holes in the, <laughs> in the van. Take this old tape off now. Off the floor. Now I'm gonna head on out. Do I need to go around the other way now? You come out here. What have you done? I need the metal plate. So the mat this metal plate goes on the inside with the bolts through it. I'm 
the dot goes into them there. No pantas now to do it for you? No. She's taken. Well, I suppose if you give me up to three knots, I could still do it. I can still do the three minutes. I'm still recording. Bit of banter. Bit of banter. That's where you get to see the apprentice finger. <laughs> I'll get that other one now. Well, what are you not putting this one in tight now? Hold on. There we go. Spidey job done. Going in, is it? What's your finger? No, I don't feel it. I'm going to screw it over behind you. <laughs> Mr. Kathleen Flynn goes mad. Ah, oh, there you go. Have you a wee nut? Yeah, I have one. I'm, I'm back on. I'm recording now. Right, so... Basically, that's the way it's kind of meant to be when it's locked, but we're going to have it like this here. So, what I'm going to do, to leave these left noticeable and maybe to stop somebody trying to pick them out, I'm just going to put a wee bit of silicone around them. Kathleen's idea. Kathleen's idea. Yeah, that's all it was. I have a wee card here. Mm -hmm. Good job you kept that go outdoors. <laughs> so I suppose also this will help to seal it. Are you doing all four now? So Where's the keys? Keys in my pocket here. Right, so I just go in there. Have it locked? Yeah, keys is in my pocket. So, hi, I can you just push that and that's it locked. So, hope, folks, hopefully you found that useful. Are you not doing the other ones? And, uh, what other one? One of the window ones? Yeah, we can do them now. So uh, I'm going to hand over now to Kathleen here Why because not? she's going to do the window. Uh, we have wee wind alarms here, and uh, we'll show you them as well. They're Malenko as well, so yeah. we might as well do the whole lot together. Um, right, but well, I'm pausing this one. Okay. Right. Okay. Just as the batter half reminded me here, we also got these uh, wee Malenko wind alarms. So we're going to fit, we've most of them fitted with one more, one or two more here to fit. So we'll show you fitting one, we don't need to show you fitting the whole lot of them. So basically the way these work is, they're on the window here. You take the dirtiest for the dishes and stuff. So, when the, there's a wee switch somewhere on them. Where is the wee switch? It's right there. Oh, that's the wee switch there. Right. So you switch it off and you can open your window but if you switch it on uh, 
and somebody breaks through the window or tries to open the window while the alarm's alarmed it'll <coughs> alarm. and also then on the outside there if you want to hold it weird there's a wee uh, just a wee uh, sticker just uh, warning people that the windows is alarmed so we don't need to stick me in it that's enough thanks very much it's so it comes i think it's three batteries goes in each one i leave the technical stuff to the batter half here Fiddly stuff. Fiddly stuff. Oh, sugar. Watch the language. I don't know what I wanted to say. Right. Oh, bugger. So we have four windows in total. Uh, um, I don't know. You possibly could put them on the roof lights, but I don't oh, think there's any bothered. need. Kathleen says says no. It's enough that they're on the window. It's all, it's all basically listen about a bit of a deterrent. Um, it hopes when they see these devices that, that move on to some other, somebody unfortunate, some other unfortunate body's van, but not their don't. van. Well. You've stuck these on the van now, they could end up coming. So, yeah, that's all I need. That and that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, dear. Oh. Pretty dark. Hi, maybe them butterfly blinds will be good, look. Just basically stick it on a wee double sided tape. Oh, I have to lay not, but this way one just sits down there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Is that right? Yeah. Good number. Oh, well, the Milan goes that yeah, way, so what yeah. do you do? Oh, there could be a uh, Barney Just here. Just as close as you can put them together without them rubbing, I think. Oh, I think that'll do right, look. And that's on. Open, open, open. One, two, three. No, oh, didn't oh, work. Switched on. Do it just to check. That's it on now. Bleep. Done. Okay folks, so that's... Uh, we have given Malenko a good support there because we have bought the window alarm of them, the inside and outside door lock and the other multi-fit locks uh, for the garage doors. Plus we bought an extra set of them frame locks now that we don't need. But hopefully we'll be able to get somebody to buy them off us. <laughs> so folks, if you uh, found that video uh, useful, uh, hopefully um, give us a wee thumbs up and a wee like and share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Sorry. So, uh, thank you very much for watching folks. And staying. And, st and staying even though we disappeared for a bit. Thank you.